And with all this going on, this is what was on the president's mind. He weighed in last night with a prediction and nicknames for his opponents. He wrote, I believe it will be crazy Bernie Sanders versus sleepy Joe Biden as the two finalists to run the guess. Is Joe Biden sleepy? I don't know. To me, he always looks like he's been up for two days eating cigarettes. And, <laughs> and the president has already used sleepy on Chuck Todd. He used it on Ben Carson. He used it on Graydon Carter. And he used it on Jeb Bush. Trump thinks anyone who doesn't mainline Adderall and Diet Coke all day is sleepy. <laughs> but this is lazy, though, this recycling of the nicknames. I think Trump might be losing his touch. Crazy Bernie and Sleepy Joe, they aren't even mean. They, they sound like characters in a Bruce Springsteen song, you know? <laughs> I'm always curious about how the president comes up with these nicknames. So we reached out to the West Wing, and believe it or not, we actually got a response from a member of Trump's communication staff. That's right, guys. Yeah, we got to respond. <laughs> and he's agreed to chat with us tonight. Please say hello to Len Drazen. Yeah. Len, hello. Yeah. Hi, Len. Hello there. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, thank you for talking with us. I, you know, I, the reason I contacted you is I was wondering who comes up with all the nicknames Trump gives his opponents. Uh. I do. You do? Okay, great. All right. So how do you come up with these nicknames? Well, it's simple. I start with the name, and then I give it the dwarf test. What is the dwarf test? Well, I see if the name works with one of the seven dwarves. You've got Sleepy, Dopey, oh. a Grumpy. Uh-huh. Haven't had a Sneezy yet. Yeah, no, you haven't. Saving that one for Beto O'Rourke. Oh. Does Beto O'Rourke sneeze a lot? Does Beto sneeze? Why, that's the worst kept secret in Washington. The man has hay fever. Oh, I didn't, I did not know that. Wow. Now you do. Okay, all right. That's what makes these nicknames so great. I guess so, yeah. Anyhow, after I give it the dwarf test, I look for a classic, something like low IQ or, uh -huh. or crazy. Right. Or sometimes I'll even call someone wacky. Yeah, right. If I'm feeling naughty. <laughs> well, and are you feeling naughty right now, Len? I am. You are. Okay. So do you, do you think these nicknames will actually help Trump win re-election? Well, let me ask you something. How's your friend Crooked Hillary enjoying life in the woods? Oh, I, you know what? I don't think she's enjoying it much at all. You're darn right she isn't, thanks to me. <laughs> hey, I do have one question. Have you been working on anything for the new guy, Pete Buttigieg? Uh, Buttigieg, uh -huh. Buttigieg. Yeah. Nothing basically funny about the name. <laughs> <laughs> but as a matter of fact, I've been thinking about calling him Sneaky Pete. Sneaky Pete. Did you know he's a gay? <laughs> 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 Well, yes, I did. He's he's very open about that. About it. He is? Yeah. <laughs> why? <laughs> well, why wouldn't he be? I mean... Why wouldn't he be? be, be because he's gay. Yeah, well, I mean, not... <laughs> what the hey already with this stuff? <laughs> well, let's... Uh... In my day, if you were gay, you kept that zipped up. Well, it's a different time now. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for uh, talking to us, Len, and for shedding some... giving some insight on this for Don't us. mention it, um... Squinty Jim. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. I enjoyed it. Did I, I catch you in the middle of a nap? No, no, no. All right. Thank you, Len. <laughs> Squinty Jim. That's my pirate name. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Click below to subscribe to our YouTube channel, or if you want to be that way about it, don't.